Yeah. <laughs> like it's in your feet. first time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, him and his brother. Bring it with you. Um, good, good. They're putting good. So he is putting the bottom, which Jim's locks together. How weird. I Better off That's to just so keep good. it under my yeah. arm or something. Well, you like that 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 out, but... Bada bing, bada boom, and let the games begin. <laughs> this one dry, died. Okay. Yeah. That works the same. It needs to dry an inch per year. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. But you never know what they got. In the pan, you have to cuss in French? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and when you shoot it, you have to say ooh la la. Wee wee. Fuck the blue. What was that? What caliber is that? <laughs> Cap gun. Not a lot of drones going on with it, so uh, here's the melodies. Pushing it up. So you open it. Say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Put it up with I, I hit it where we're supposed to be hit, too. Put it up with the man's load. <laughs> what? Put it up there with a the man's load. <laughs> well, I'll wait till the shoe comes down. Then I'll put 150 in it. <laughs> That's a cool. Ah, look at that thing. Yeah, look at that. Oh, there it is. You gotta take it cool. Yeah. You gotta take it cool. Wow. One of the tricky parts at the very beginning. It'll be perpetual. Okay. You don't know game. You play a little trill on this just to bring it up a little bit. I know I was over it on that. So That's an ounce. Trills, okay. uh, this is an ounce and a half. Oh, okay. Anyway, it's just an old shot charger. And then I'll put that hard part on top. Okay. And I think this acts, I think it does two things. First, it's a buffer for the shot. Mm -hmm. um, Cornmeal. <laughs> in place of wadding. And I can't tell you why, but it works like magic. It makes the patterns 50% better. It really does the trick. No wads at all. I put the powder down, 
put the same volume of cornmeal as powder and then the shot. And then a wad on top of the shot just to hold it in, just an overshot card. Uh, 85 grains of Swiss and an ounce and a half a shot, which is, I think, typical for muzzle loaders. They say it works better if you put a little less powder, a little more shot than normal. Number seven and a half. Good shot, Dean. Oh, oh, I missed that! Truck, to, oh, I got can. a chunk, I think. That was a resounding no. <laughs> uh, one heck of a neck shot. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> With my old Spanish musket. I was aiming for his lights. He just dropped right there. 16. When that 16 gauge ball hits something, it looks like a broken feather mm -hmm. or feather pillow. It just goes poof, hair everywhere. Oh, it's Did, missed. Didn't waste the hide. <laughs> no, <or> the <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> yeah. She <laughs> don't have to deal with it. You know, your accuracy is going to go. And then it did really well. You know, and I sent it up to Marks and he rebuilt it. I think it's just Peter. With Al Fleming setting up with him, I think Al knows the other Al pretty well, too. Half a pound, that ought to be enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There, I mean, <laughs> he did that when the tree was probably about this big. So when, when it died and we cut it down, it was like... Yeah. Well, you see him beating on the edge of the flint to sharpen it. But if you take like a little piece of brass here, and you just lay it right along the very edge. And take just a little bit and control what you're doing. And if you do that, you can get well over 100 shots out of flint. I see some guys say they only get 30 or 40 shots out of flint, and that's ridiculous. We're cheap, it costs too much, <laughs> you know. So, so that's a good way you always get a good, consistent edge with them. Well, this started out as a double barrel hammer gun, and a friend of mine started this project, and when I found it, after he died, he had a set of barrels and he stuck breeches in the back end, and that was it. And then he had two Siler kits laying there. So anyway, I decided to try to figure out how to make a gun out of it. So. That was probably 10 years ago, but I just I just built it probably, I don't know, probably started in October or something. Decided, I'm going to see if I can figure out how to build a flintlock shotgun. So there it is. Anyway, so much fun, I'm going to do it again. I just found a set of 10-bore Elsie Smith barrels with beautiful Royal Damascus on them. I'm going to build a 10-bore flintlock out of it. Demolished it. Demolished it. The, the best way to do it is, you know the bird's going to fly straight out there, right? Okay. Just have a real soft focus. Don't look at anything out there. Just be, it's like your mind is open for something to appear. So you just real soft focus, look it out there, wait. As soon as you see that bird, shoot it and focus on it. Don't just see it. Like, drill right in, and since it's going away, you want to you focus. Right there. Okay. Don't look at the whole bird. Up front. It's like it's flying up like this. Look at that top leading edge, like a dime sized spot on it. Oh. If you can see that, you'll hit it. So don't think about the gun. Just throw the gun up when you see the bird, shoot it. Okay. And don't let it get too far. <laughs> I got it. As soon as you see it, shoot it. 
Lower left. Same spot as the last three. Good group. <laughs> I must have got a chunk of it, huh? It, it was a hell of a night, I'll tell you. But I survived it and I'm gonna do it again tonight. Maybe it was the cold, because I, I was just telling I oh, plus it's an insulator, right? I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I got everything for you. And I, yeah. I, I sleep with my sleep bag on zip. You ready to I just roll pull one old, more, more, more roll me because I get these little leg cramps at night. I gotta fly. All this would have to go down in there. Yeah, it was the whole breach, I think. So this face... We have about 20 blows, just howling. And, uh, and we killed some antelope and deer and got them hauled back to camp. And hung them up and started skinning them. They got about half stunned and they froze there. And that's how they had to come home. But I heard the pigs get the old because it stays... Oh. Gun. You're not, Rod is. This flint's getting just about used up. <laughs> this thing is. I'm flinching a little bit. I just talked to him a couple of days ago. He was. Yeah, I thought he was. 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 He Originally broke in the mail. Oh. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> this, he repaired it. And this is a, 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 a repair off of an original. What's the other side look like? Just right? the okay. same. Hear it. He can't hear it. My daughter. Yeah. It fits that one really. <laughs> yeah. Stretch it. Yeah. They had an up English sporting rifle for a couple of seasons. Mm -hmm. That thing had like 15 inch trip.
Well, most of the time when somebody else is shooting it, it works a lot better. Well, these two probably. You ready? Well, you can't. I use less powder in my 40 than used for priming. Forty. 